Hello beautiful souls. <laughs> Welcome back. And if you're new to Art of Awakening, <laughs> there's a raven there. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, I am coming to you from uh, outside of Marquette, Michigan, uh, one of my favorite trails here. And what I'd like to share with you today is very personal and it's also universal. Um, so starting, I'm just going to start with the personal. And if you've been following me for a while, you probably know me as Christy. That's uh, my middle name is Christina. Full name is Anne Christina, and I've been going by Christy for a while. Um, but it's um, not a name I've always been comfortable with. Anne Christina. I've been kind. Of, I've kind of changed my name uh, quite a few times throughout my life. I've gone by Anne. I've gone by Anna, Christy, Christina, and they never seem to quite fit. And but there is one name that I have always felt fit. And at this point in my life. I just turned 50, things are changing a lot for me, have changed in, in very good ways, and it feels like it's time to reclaim this name. I think sometimes we come into the world with a true name where we, you know, discover one very early on, or sometimes later on, and uh, it's kind of hard to change name. <laughs> People don't like it. <laughs> People get used to calling you by, by a particular name, but... Uh, words have power. Words have a lot of power. And um, I've been, you may know me as an artist, I'm, I'm a writer too, and uh, have been uh, doing writing for businesses uh, as a living for the last 11 years. And I've come to re recognize the power in words. And even if you look at, you know, in the beginning was the word, words have a lot of power. They have a lot of power to create. And um, that's why affirmations are for, so powerful. And so um, a, a lot of what I've learned over the past many years uh, in this line of work is in, in, in terms of both the writing and the spiritual is, is the power of our words to influence to influence the world to create change in our lives and so I have made this decision here to to go ahead and and go back to or actually just reclaim take a stand uh, for for who I am through this name and, and in other ways as well uh, the name is Ona it's O-N-A and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story of why this name when I was about three, I don't even know where <laughs> where the name came from, where it came in, into my head, but I decided that that was my name. And I was, <laughs> I remember writing it on the walls even, it was, it was that important to me at the age of three. Well, my mother hated it, <laughs> and not just because of the writing on the walls, but because, uh, you know, she had kind of ownership of this name that she'd named me. She'd spent a lot of time choosing it and, and chose it very carefully. It, the Anne Christina and and she it really made her mad that I didn't like it. I think maybe maybe she felt rejected and at some level, but uh, basically the idea of me being Ona kind of got quashed <laughs> pretty early on. And um, but as I recall, you know, when I was a very young child, I used to sing. And at some point, I stopped singing, and I really starting to correlate that that name name. Thing with stopping singing. It was sort of like it took away my voice, and now I'm reclaiming it. And okay, so that's the personal story, but let's look at how this relates to the universal and what's going on in the world right now. And to do that, I'm going to look at the root uh, meanings, and, and meanings plural, of, of the name Ona, because um, you know, at the age of three, <laughs> I wasn't aware of that, but but since then I've, I've really done a little bit of research of this because it's, like I said, it's not easy to change a name, and I really wanted to make sure that this was something that really fit and was resonating and not just a whim. Um, so, yeah, so I looked into the meanings of the, the name, and as it turns out, it's Ona is a name that surfaces in many, many different cultures across the world. So first of all, it's global, and which I really love because I, I really am feeling called to um, 
to minister, I guess minister, I don't like that word, but to serve uh, the, the earth herself, the earth. I have a connection with Mother Earth, and I love that the name has this global feel to it. Um, so some of the meanings of the name Ona. One thing that I love is that it means both unity and one. Okay, so we have both the the connection, the togetherness, the unity, and the individual, and that's something that's that's beginning to really that's happening right now in the world. We're beginning to individuate um, and become. I think a lot of this awakening process is the process of learning who we are as individuals and to claim our power as individuals and and to recognize and honor that. Um, and it's a very important, important thing to happen because when we have our own power as individuals, that's when we can unite and, and, and come together in a way that is very, very powerful. And that's another meaning of the word, the name Ona, is, is unity. Um, and, and to me, that really hits on the core of my own particular uh, life's purpose, is, is to help to unify um, humanity, bring light workers together in particular. I'll be talking about that in a sec. Um, okay, so other meanings of the, the, the word, oh, the name Ona, um, in, in Bantu, I believe, it's an African language, it means to see and, um, you know, to, to witness and to kind of recognize the truth of something. In Catalan, it means wave. In, I believe, Ukrainian, it means she. And it uh, sounds like in, in, in Jap Japanese, it, it means woman. Okay, so, and then also in Hebrew, it is um, a variation on my given first name, and which means grace. So all these meanings together, for me, really resonate because, uh, you know, I'm putting them together and I'm looking at, wow, this is like a wave of awareness <laughs> and a wave of um, bringing the divine feminine into awareness globally and, and, and unifying all these individuals who have, you know, these, who have like, <laughs> we're all standing in the light and, and unifying all of us as individuals, as a collective, as a, as a, as a whole. Um, so, so to me, this, this is just like when I realized all these meanings and how they come together and how they really resonate with my purpose, it's like, okay, well, I can put up with having to change my name one more time um, and because it really feels like it's in alignment with why I'm here on the planet. Um, okay, so let's, let's, let's talk about some of the energies that are happening right now and, and why I'm realizing it's like <laughs> I, I've kind of felt lost for a long time in terms of my name, but this is the perfect, perfect time. And, and it's probably a good thing that that name was not... <laughs> you know, that I, I wasn't empowered to, to hold on to it until now, because this is the time. And this is the time right now when it's, the world is ready. The world is ready for light workers to start coming together. And uh, the, the message around this is that, you know, that I've been receiving is that light workers really had to you know, we were isolated for a long, long time. It was for our own protection. And however, it's like the energies of shifting right now have shifted to a point where it, 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 it's safe to come out. Um, and, and, but not just that. It's like, I think we've had to be really work on ourselves individually and in order to come out of that isolation there's been a lot of um uh you know a lot of us have had to awaken with a lot of isolation it, it, and and sometimes it's scary it's like you know um things happening spiritually and you don't even know what they are and there's nobody to talk to 
and I hear this a lot, I was fortunate enough that um, when I started, like, my awakening process took a long, long time, and I wasn't even aware that I was awakening for a long time, but, but when, when, when the big awakening for me happened, um, I was right away uh, brought into this group of, of, um, of light workers, and it was amazing. It was like, I didn't know what a light worker was, you know, and but I'd always felt like just like not really connected, just just sort of different and and always felt just sort of like I wasn't really connecting with uh, with the with society. But then I I walked in this room and it was like, oh my god, there's a lot of people, just all these people. There was like 20 people in this room that got me. It was amazing. And and that feeling, I just will never forget it. It's like, oh my god, I found my people. And and I think, you know, for me, that process of awakening, I mean, it was still hard. I had a lot of trials to go through, it, um, but but I had all the support, and it was incredible. Uh, there is no way that, uh, that I would be experiencing the life I'm experiencing without that. I mean, it would have taken me probably more lifetimes, um, you know, without, without all these a beautiful, amazing, awakened and awakening souls around me. And I would like that for others. Because right now we're at this time where enough of us have woken up that it's really opening up, um, you know, for the collective. It's It has opened doors for the collective. And we're going to start seeing, we already are, start seeing more and more people starting to awaken in in the coming months and, and few years it's it's gonna be like huge waves of people waking up and what i'm being guided to do is to really encourage um light workers to get together face to face okay face to face and it's good to have these uh, these online groups and things that's good but especially if we can get together face to face in person in the same room that is so so powerful those connections even um you know sometimes even if it's temporary even if it's like getting together <laughs> um you know, just people flying in to one spot, whatever. But like local groups, I'm finding are just super, super powerful. I just started a local group um, last year of light workers getting together. It's the Market Light Workers Collective, and it's been amazing. It's grown. It's it's like, and people are telling me it's like, I, I, I am so grateful for this group for this opportunity to have these other people because I was feeling so alone, and. What I'm feeling and what I'm seeing is like the awakening process does not have to be as hard as it has been for many of us. And those of us who are already awakened, we can really smooth the road for those of us who are coming on board. And, um, it, it, you know, we, we awaken each other and we we heal each other. And I'm I'm seeing too, it's like, we're all, we're all messed up, right, in certain ways because we're, you know, how can you be fully healed if you're coming out of a society that isn't, right? Um, but what I'm seeing is like, messed up people can come together and heal each other. We can pull each other up by our bootstraps, by each other's bootstraps. It's amazing. And that's what's happening as we come together. And so, so that's why... I, I really feel like I, I'm taking this name, Ona, and I'm owning it. <laughs> and because in taking that name, I'm taking a stand for the earth, and I'm taking a stand for the light on the earth. And and because that's my calling, is to help in this process of, of bringing, bringing light workers together. So um, if, you, if you followed my last video, um, I mentioned that... I would be more than willing to put together step-by-step -step instructions of how to start a local group because I realized that, you know, I've got a background in marketing. I know how to do this, right? Um, but it's not something that a lot of people know how to do right off the top of their head. So um, I'm, I'm going to start with, I haven't done this yet, so at the time of recording this, but by the time I do this, I... Um, I'm thinking probably the best way is to start a Facebook group and I can post 
um, just I'll probably start just with a one sheet of simple instructions and then as I have time to uh, oh, here comes a like somebody with a dog I think <laughs> as I have time I will um, elaborate on that to make it easier so thank you so much for watching I gotta go here I got a dog here <laughs> up ahead of my dog and um, I'll catch you again later bye bye okay <laughs> I think I better uh, finish this and let you know when uh, where where to find this information I'm gonna be uh, posting it uh, below um, on my channel and um, below this video I'll just post a link once once I get that together and uh, I totally invite you uh, to if you're interested at all in uh, starting a group in your own local area Area. Um, absolutely. Even if you know how to do it, uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd love for you to um, be part of this group because, I, like I said, we can help each other. We can give each other tips and uh, just help each other bootstrap each other up. So, um, all right. Thanks for watching and uh, I love you all and we'll catch you again later. Bye-bye.